During the summer of 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 accomplished something remarkable. It became the first spacecraft to get a close-up view of Neptune, the last planet on its mission list. Flying just about 4,150 kilometers above Neptune's North Pole, Voyager 2 got closer to any planet than it had since it left Earth 12 years earlier. Now let's delve into the closest images we've ever taken of this mysterious planet Neptune and understand what they reveal about this stunning blue planet. In August 1977, Voyager 2 embarked on an incredible journey through our solar system. It became the first and only spacecraft to explore all four outer planets. Finally, in 1989, after 12 years of traveling, Voyager 2 reached its last destination, Neptune. As Voyager 2 approached Neptune, it captured mesmerizing footage. This distant world appeared before us, adorned with captivating bands of blue clouds, reminiscent of Jupiter. Among its features, a colossal storm of slate color raged through its atmosphere, a sight to behold. Voyager 2 also revealed the presence of four new rings encircling Neptune, along with the discovery of six previously unseen moons. After traveling a staggering distance of 7.1 billion kilometers, Voyager 2's closest encounter with Neptune lasted only a few short hours. Yet in that brief time, it provided humanity with the most stunning views of Neptune ever recorded. When we think of Neptune, many of us recall the famous Voyager 2 image, a snapshot showing the planet's bright white clouds, immense storms, and its renowned but inaccurately depicted blue hue. Interestingly, Neptune's actual color is more of a lighter greenish blue, different from the deep cobalt blue we often imagine. However, if you search for more photos of this majestic ice giant online, you'll find few. This may surprise you, considering Voyager 2 approached as close as 4,150 kilometers to Neptune. Yet photographing the ice giant is no easy feat. It orbits an average of 30 times farther from the sun than Earth does, receiving minimal sunlight. By the time Voyager 2 reached Neptune after its journey through the outer planets, it sped at a rapid 27 kilometers second, making its encounter brief but thrilling. Unfortunately, Voyager 2's high speed and Neptune's low sunlight exposure made capturing clear, non-blurry photos of the mysterious blue planet quite challenging. Despite this, by rotating the spacecraft with thrusters as it passed and taking long exposure shots, it successfully transmitted some of the closest images of Neptune ever captured. Just two hours before Voyager 2 zoomed past Neptune, it captured one of the most detailed images. In it, long white cirrus clouds floated high in the planet's atmosphere. These clouds, however, aren't like the ones we see on Earth. They're made of frozen methane. These streaks of clouds stretch thousands of kilometers parallel to Neptune's equator. Each streak is between 50 to 200 kilometers wide, and you can even spot shadows cast onto the lower haze, about 50 kilometers below. Among the outer gas planets, Neptune held a special surprise for Voyager 2. It was here that the spacecraft spotted its first ever cloud shadows as shown in a grainy image. These high altitude clouds are fleeting, ever-changing entities. Recent observations, such as those from the Hubble Space Telescope, have further revealed their dynamic nature, forming and dissipating relatively quickly in Neptune's turbulent atmosphere. Zooming out from these detailed shots, thick white clouds come into view, scattered across Neptune's surface. These clouds swiftly rotate around the planet, while below them, dark bands reminiscent of Jupiter's atmosphere are visible. However, they appear somewhat obscured, lost in Neptune's blue haze. At the time of this image, powerful winds would have been raging around the icy giant, reaching speeds of up to 2100 km h, three times faster than Jupiter's winds, 
and nearly nine times swifter than those on Earth. Voyager 2 uncovered some of the most extreme weather in the solar system on Neptune. During its flyby, it captured an incredible sight, the Great Dark Spot. This massive storm, resembling Jupiter's Great Red Spot, stretched as wide as Earth. Interestingly, its center appeared nearly cloud-free, like a gigantic black hole swirling through Neptune's atmosphere. Scientists are puzzled why this storm is so dark, but it's believed that certain particles darken its lower layers. The winds around it were among the fastest recorded, reaching speeds up to 2,400 kilometers per hour. These powerful winds contributed to the storm's dynamic and turbulent nature, as evident in the footage. The great dark spot wasn't the only remarkable find. Voyager 2 also spotted another significant feature to the south, the small dark spot. Upon closer inspection, rotating clouds inside resembled a giant eye peering out into space. While the exact cause of these colossal vortex storms remains unclear, it's believed that Neptune's mysterious core plays a role in driving them. Voyager 2's journey past Neptune unveiled a captivating scene, a massive hexagonal storm reminiscent of Saturn's polar vortex. Despite its 1970s technology, Voyager's mission to all four outer planets yielded invaluable images. While these historic snapshots remain significant, advancements in modern cameras offer the potential for more detailed views. Yet, as of 2024, no approved missions are planned to revisit Neptune or Uranus, leaving these distant giants among the least explored in our solar system. The question of future exploration to these enigmatic worlds lingers, underscoring the ongoing intrigue of our cosmic frontier. The challenge lies in the immense distance of these planets. Such missions demand precise timing with today's technology. We rely on Jupiter's gravitational pull to propel us toward distant destinations like Neptune, a technique pioneered by the Voyager mission. This opportunity arises only once every 12 to 13 years, with the next window in the early 2030s. So, if we hope to witness new close-up images of these enigmatic ice giants, we must wait patiently. Meanwhile, the captivating snapshots from Voyager 2 continue to intrigue, inviting us to ponder the secrets concealed within Neptune's azure clouds. What do you think will be the phenomenon behind the formation of these fast winds and big cyclone formation in the atmosphere of Neptune? Will we be able to know the mysteries behind it in our lifetime? Let us know about thoughts in the comments down below. Like this video and share it with your fellow space enthusiasts. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload.